Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. We have all heard this phrase before. Sometimes it is used as a kind of a homespun philosophical way of soothing another person. Other times it's said to try to ease another person's pain or struggle. Sometimes the phrase everything happens for a reason is used out of a deep personal relationship with God and a profound faith. But this phrase, everything happens for a reason, in addition to being something we often say, also happens to be true. Everything does happen for a reason. Do we believe this? Today we fe celebrate the Feast of the Transfiguration of our Lord. This feast day always falls on August 6th, Today it falls this year on a Sunday, and so it takes the place of the ordinary time, 18th Sunday. This is the feast day where we remember how Jesus took Peter, James, and John up the high mountain, and when they were there, the divinity of Christ was revealed to his three apostles. They saw him as he truly is, the second person of the Holy Trinity, the Son of God, a divine person. And just as soon as it happened, suddenly it was over. And Jesus perhaps said to Peter, James, and John, come on, fellows, let's go back down the mountain. And perhaps the three apostles were scratching their heads saying, why did this happen? What just happened? Why did this happen to us? What's the reason for it? In life, oftentimes uh, in the world in which we live today, People have all sorts of reasons to try to get by. And sometimes the thought is, well, if I just work harder, then everything will work out for me. If I just had more money, if I just were younger, if I just had more friends, if I just had the right job or I went to the right school or I had a better relationships in my family or whatever. And these are good things. But sometimes the world can play a trick on us and we can fall into it thinking, that life all depends on us. Not so. As Christians, we believe that God is at work in our lives. This means that God is lovingly caring for us, guiding us along the way. He carries us. The fancy word for this is divine providence. Divine providence is God caring for us and guiding us along the way of life. Everything does happen for a reason because our loving Father is in charge. And the more that we allow him to, the more peace you and I will have in our lives. Immediately when Jesus came down from that mountain with Peter, James, and John, immediately came his passion, death, and resurrection. 
Peter, James, and John were to be the leaders of the early church, Peter, the first pope, they had to experience the divinity of Christ so they could be strengthened to be the early leaders of the Catholic Church. Everything does happen for a reason. For them, for you, and for me. Let's trust more in God's divine providence, his loving care in our lives. Jesus, we trust in you. May God bless you.